Hello YouTube, this is Firebrand Chris and today I'm going to be talking about one particular bug, bed bugs. Well I know this, 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 just the, the sheer mention of bed bugs scare people. And as you notice, I'm sitting in my bed right now. So, the only reason why I'm bringing this video up is because I had a small run-in with bed bugs. Now, before I moved to St. Louis, I had never, I had never seen a bed bug in person. But I had some knowledge on them. You know, I like to do a lot of reading and and I watch a lot of videos, so I knew everything about their shape, size, and you know the juveniles, babies, and all that type of stuff. So about mid-November, I saw my first bed bug. Now, I know when you see something like that, it just freaks, it just scares you. You know, most people start crying and go crazy, but that's not the type of person that I am. So, before, to, to, to backtrack on all this, before I, uh, when I first moved into this building, I asked the building landlord about, um, uh, had there be, if there had ever been any bad bug incidents in this building. She told me that there had been a few and so at that moment when I moved in, I developed a contingency, contingency plan to deal with bed bugs if they ever showed up in my room. So uh, to give you a little bit of history about uh, when I first saw the first bed bug, I was in my kitchen, which later on in the video, we're going to go in the kitchen, and I saw a bed bug crawling from the baseboard from underneath the baseboard in the kitchen so that was a bit unusual to me since most of the time you see bad bugs you see them in a the bedroom so I captured the you know the bad bug placed him in a bag so I can examine him later and I initiated what I call Operation Valkyrie so I pretty much tossed this whole apartment up you know over a span of a the next few days Everything was dis dismantled, disassembled, and all that type of stuff, including my bed. Luckily, I have the type of bed that uses bed slats, so removing the bed slats was pretty easy. And the mattress that I sleep on is a memory foam mattress, which doesn't make a difference to bed bugs. They don't care. But it made spotting, if there were any bed bugs on the mattress, a lot easier. So, I immediately notified my landlord about the bad bugs or spotting the the bad bugs since there I'd only spotted one and when there's one there's always more um she took note of it and I could tell by looking at her and I like to read people that she was withholding information so at that moment while I was talking to her I heard another resident of the building now mind you we're standing in the lobby she was telling another resident of the building, because I stay in like this, it's like freaking eight story building, um, that the pesticide person had just came out to eradicate some little brown bugs. Now, she was an older woman, and I thought to myself while I was still talking to the landlord, now she knew what the hell those bugs were, they were bad bugs. She just didn't want to tell the other resident that they came out to eradicate bad bugs. So, I figured it out. When they spray, and, and, and it, this was later confirmed by the landlord, be, be, through later chats that me and the landlord had. But when they sprayed her apartment, it caused a scattering effect of bed bugs. Now, she stays not directly above me, but I guess off, uh, uh, she's, she's one of these apartments on this wing of the building, uh, on the floor above. So what I'm thinking, when they sprayed her apartment, every apartment got a dose of these bad bugs. It was almost like a fleeing effect. I mean, you know, they had to go somewhere and they wanted to get away from the pesticides. So if you're afraid of bugs, if bugs eat you out, I mean, really try to watch this video because no catching the bed bugs in the beginning can save you a whole lot of hassle along down the road. So let's go to the next part of this video which is the kitchen is where I first noticed the bad bugs.